So in Guatemala, most of the time it's hot and it's humid. So you just need to pack, kind of wear light clothing um, that you can sweat in a lot because you pretty much be sweating for two years, and, at least in the South Mission. Um, and from about, in Guatemala, from about May or middle of April until about the middle of September, almost October, is the rainy season and it rains a lot. And so I would just, maybe something is, just pack a sturdy umbrella. Maybe that's something I, because I remember I went out in my first area, it was raining so hard, we'd walked out to dinner at a really far away place, and right, I pulled out my umbrella, we walked out the door, and it flew up, and then it flew away. <laughs> and I got so soaked the entire way home. I remember we were walking in the street, so often the drainage, isn't that great in Guatemala, like their central infrastructure drainage system. Um, so we were walking in the street and it was like almost up to our knee, the water that night when we were walking home. Um, so I'd just say make sure to prepare for um, getting wet. Pack a light raincoat. I had packed a raincoat that was really good for water, but it was kind of thick. So it was like, I didn't wear it because it was hot and sweaty, even though it protected me from the rain. So I'd say a good raincoat, but also one that's light because you're always walking around and you're always sweating. Um, I remember my mission, it was pretty much, I was always wet, always. It was, because the days that it rained, it would usually rain at night, but even during the day, it got like more humid and more hot before it rained. So you're sweating so much all day, and then you were just wet at night from the rain. So you're just constantly soaking wet from either sweat or rain. <laughs>